Hey everyone, it's me Tans. I'm actually back with 32 weeks um, pregnancy update and it has been um, physically everything has been going really good with baby everything's been going really good baby's been like super active getting stronger I can tell um, baby is getting bigger and I'm pretty sure I'm like 85-90% sure that at this point baby is head down. Um, I don't know for sure and I won't really find out for certain until uh, my 36 week appointment when my, uh, phys uh, when my PA said she's going to do her little thing where she feels around my belly and I guess gets kind of an estimate of baby's size, kind of weight, and baby's position. So, but the clues I have are that whenever baby gets hiccups, I feel them in my crotch or my like my butt. So, yeah, it's really interesting. Um, it's the strangest feeling. Feels like someone's going thump 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 on my uh, cervix or in my butt. So yeah, really really crazy. And then if I feel like down in my uh, lower abdomen I can feel like the baby's I don't know if it's his chest or back but I can feel like the baby you know kind of like going like this like you know when, when we get the hiccups and poor kid gets them like several times a day I tend to find that a uh, baby gets them most of the time after I eat if not pretty soon after maybe a couple hours after or whatever but I know it's normal it actually is a good and healthy thing because it shows that the baby is kind of practicing uh, breathing the diaphragm is working so yet another thing uh, this far along in pregnancy that is reassuring so really really uh, happy about that I believe the hiccups have been going on for a while and I just didn't know what they were I would always felt this little throbbing feeling but I didn't know what it was. I thought baby was just tap dancing on my cervix. But now that um, I've done a little research and paid a little more attention. And probably because the hiccups have gotten stronger. Because baby's gotten bigger and stronger. I can feel them a lot more prevalently now. So yeah. Um, let's see. What else? What else? What else? I had my 32 week appointment. I think I told you all in the 31 week uh, update that I would update you like for pretty much what happened at 32 weeks so here we go and this video is going to be again super quick because I'm really hungry and I want to go to Moe's and get some chips and queso but I was going to do the video after I was going to do the video after um, I went and got food but yeah I totally don't trust myself to actually do it then even though it's actually relatively early in the day, it's only like 2 o'clock, which is really good for me because the past couple of weekends, I have not left out of the house before like 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. And of course we know on Sundays, at least here in America, uh, most places close at like 6. So anyway, I'm just rubbing lotion on because I'm about to get ready to leave the house while I'm doing this. But anyway, as I digress, back to the appointment. So I went on... Monday to my 32 week appointment and my appointments from 28 to 32 they were still four weeks um and so my PA basically said that they'll continue to be at four weeks until 36 weeks so I do not start my weekly or bi-weekly appointments until my next appointment which will really only leave me with four weeks to go so she said it'll be like every seven to ten days just depending on you know the baby and how everything is going so that is that as far as like my appointments and kind of how they've been scheduled and basically it's just because I've had um thankfully um praise God an uneventful pregnancy so I haven't had a reason to go in for like a lot of unnecessary for a lot of extra um, visits or monitoring or anything like that um, I didn't just go in once because of some excess like discharge that I was having but turned out to be nothing I just want to make sure that I wasn't like losing my mucus plug and that was at 29 or 30 weeks or whatever but that's been the only time I really had to go in uh, 
extra outside of uh, my normally scheduled appointments. So, uh, appointment, everything was normal. I think the heart rate was like 138, 140-ish, and it's been floating around there pretty much the entire, like, pregnancy, especially since I hit, like, 20-something-esque weeks. So, heart rate has not been below, like, 135. I think it's always been, like, 138, 139, 140. You know, high 130s, low 140s. Um, so, like I said, baby is doing good. She found the heart rate. I remember at my... 28 week appointment she found the heart rate still pretty high up but that could have been because the baby was still like it wasn't as big as it was at this appointment so she found it a lot lower this time which clued me into the baby's position as well but again I mean they can still flip and turn all the time so I don't want to you know put too much stock into anything as far as baby position until 36 37 and pretty much labor um so this time she found it pretty low. It was on the right hand side. It was right around my belly button. Or I know it was definitely in that vicinity. So it definitely wasn't high, higher up or anything like that. Um, my fundal height was right at 30, which was good. But I've been consistently measuring like ahead. Like at all my appointments, if I was 28 weeks, I would measure. I'm sorry, my fundal height was 32. Um, but which was good because I was a day short of um, 30 weeks when I went. Somehow my appointments changed from being on Wednesdays to Mondays. I think it was when I had my glucose test. I had to, my 24 week appointment was on a Wednesday. And then I think the next like time I needed it to be scheduled for a morning appointment, uh, it was a Monday. So somehow my appointments changed from Mondays to Wednesdays. So whatever. Um, so I was always like one day ahead of the next week or one day after I had just turned. But either way, I've always measured um, consistently since she's been measuring me a little bit ahead. Like if I was, like I said, if I were 29 weeks and I measured 30, even when I went in for my, like, even when I went in for that one appointment in between, I was 29 weeks and like three days, but I was measuring 30 30 centimeters already from my fundal height. So this time I measured right on track and um, that's perfectly fine, perfectly normal. I've never measured behind so I'm happy about that. But I was like a little like, I didn't feel some kind of way because I was like, what? You know, because I was so used to measuring ahead. But I totally believe that my next appointment, I'll have it at 36 weeks. Wouldn't be surprised for measuring 37. So, um... She says it looked like I dropped a little bit and that I was starting to go out a little bit on the sides. So that could have been the reason for it as well. Um, baby's starting to drop and descend at this point. So uh, perfectly normal. Um, in other news, blood pressure was good, like 102 over 60. Um, weight, uh, from her calculation, I had put on three pounds since the last appointment. And she yet again stressed it and not stressed as much as she had done like in the past. Because I finally just told her like, look, women in my family are just small. We don't gain a lot of weight during pregnancy. We pretty much stay small while we're pregnant. So it's perfect. Like I'm, it's perfectly normal. As long as like, you know, and she's like, yeah, I just don't understand like why you're not bigger. You know, like just for your, your health and your sake. You know, not really the babies, but she's like, I don't know where you're really, like, hiding the baby, but you're measuring right on track, if not ahead. So, I mean, obviously everything is fine, so I'll lay off of you. And I was like, yeah, I mean, my mom was smaller than me when she had my brother, and she was a little bit younger, and she had a seven-pound kid at her first child. And he was full-term, perfectly normal and fine, and so hopefully, you know, coming out to the home stretch, I won't have to constantly hear this, you know, gain weight, gain weight, gain weight argument because you know I'm healthy I feel good my energy level is you know especially for it to be in the third trimester is you know really good relatively high and um 
I've had no issues with swelling or anything, you know, go on. So I'm going to continue with my same diet, eat when I'm hungry, stop when I'm full. I do uh, include as much extra protein in my diet as possible just because I'm not a big meat eater. And I know that's really important, but I still am loving my fruits. I'm definitely eating more vegetables um, back again, which we weren't not eating vegetables because like I didn't like them. We just, I don't know, like we were busy and on the go and we just got out of the habit of like cooking dinner and actually eating like healthy. <laughs> so, um, yeah, still not liking fish, but I love like crab legs and stuff like that. And I have a DHA, um, vitamin that I also take every night with my prenatal. So I'm not too worried about like getting the DHA and omega threes and all that type of stuff. Um, so yeah, she just said, you know, keep, keep gaining weight or whatever, blah, blah, blah. So I'll have energy for when the baby's born and whatnot. So, you know, whatevs. I measured my belly and it's between like 35 and a half and 36. I, it fluctuates. I don't know if it's depending upon like baby's position and things like that, but, uh, that's where we're at with that right now. Um, weight has been hovering around 140, 141. So, um, at this point the baby's taking like half of all the weight that I'm gaining. So... I don't, if with seven weeks left, and that's going all the way to 40, I don't really anticipate on gaining, I mean, I would be lucky if I gained five to seven more pounds, which I'd totally be fine with. Like, I'm all for it, especially if it's for the baby. Like, hey, whatever the baby needs, I'm all for. So, yeah, that was pretty much the gist of that appointment. As far as uh, just stuff throughout the week, craving symptoms, stuff like that, um... Nothing really crazy. I am loving like the out shine, like fruit bars or whatever. And I, I think it just goes along with my like fruit, my love of fruit while pregnant. Um, I've been eating a good bit of those. Uh, pretty much eating anything and everything for breakfast, whatever I can get my hands on. Um, nothing real crazy. Like, I, of course, I'm still like getting tired and sleepy after breakfast I'm still working full-time so I just have to come home and take like kind of like a two-hour lunch we usually get about an hour and a half so I usually just take an extra 30 minutes if not an extra hour and I've already told um, my captain that so she's very aware and she understands that like eight months pregnant she's had a baby so um, I've had really not run any issues with that. everyone keeps asking me if I'm gonna work half days, and I'm like, yeah, no, per the order, we don't get any half days. Like, if you have a really nice command, they might let you, but, I mean, I'm still fine. I'm still functioning, and I don't see a reason to take half days if I don't need to. If I could just, you know, come in a little later if I need to, or take a longer lunch, then I'm fine. Like, I'm happy to, to stay active and, and be active and be on the go, and, it, like, as much as I would love to sit around the house all day, it would drive me crazy after a while. Um... Sleeping is still a challenge. Of course, just being comfortable. Uh, I, I'm still getting up at least once a night on the weekdays, usually twice a night on the weekends because I typically sleep a little longer uh, to use the restroom. Um, my belly has been achy, like down below. And I did experience some increased pressure this past week, but nothing too crazy. I'm not really having any any signs of preterm labor just except for the Braxton Hicks contractions. So that's perfectly fine. I feel like my boobs have gotten a little bigger. So I think my body again is just continuing to prepare for baby to get here. And um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Nothing too crazy going on. Hair, skin, nails, all that stuff is still doing good. I'm not like I'm definitely, like, my protein intake is it's really good because I'm, I'm, my hair's not falling out. My skin is still really good um, and clear. And uh, I did get some coconut oil to put on my belly. I've been using I've been using cocoa butter and the Palmer's oil and all that. And I'm still going to be using that, but I also have some coconut oil because I heard that's really good as well. But I haven't noticed any stretch marks or anything like that. So, yeah, overall, everything is really good. And uh, I'll go ahead and do a belly shot for you all because this video is getting a little long. 
And that's it, guys. We'll call it a day, and I'll be back at 33 weeks, which means that we will have officially four weeks left until full term. Um, no, wait, 34, wait, huh? Okay, well, I'll be back next week with 34 weeks, which means we'll have three weeks until officially full term, and six weeks until the full 40 weeks. So, super exciting. I do feel like for a while the pregnancy was going by really fast and now I hit like 30 weeks and it's like slowing down so anyway um you know it, October will be here will be here before we know it and the baby will be here so cannot wait to for baby to get here and hubs can't wait for baby to get here and I just can't wait to do you know even more videos about like baby and motherhood and stuff but until then we'll, we'll keep going with the pregnancy ones and i'll try to keep you all as updated as possible so let's get to it because i am starving yes i do actually get hungry so i'm wearing shorts today i got the button kind of on class i usually button it when i do go somewhere and this is the belly from the front from the side from the other side and then just so you can see it with the shirt on um watching Real Housewives of Miami in the background which is not one of my favorite Real Housewives shows but it just happens to be on from the front with the shirt on and from the side so there you are guys girls whomever Thank you so much for watching. Please follow me on my blog where I do more extensive update. Um, I do uh, like have a Facebook and stuff for my blog. My personal Facebook is just for like personal life, but I have one for my blog. So I'll include my blog, Facebook for that, Twitter, all that good stuff in the sidebar. And I'm out of breath because this kid is starting to grow even more up into my abdomen, compressing my ribs. Oh, I have been a little out of breath lately, which is the only other symptom that I have not mentioned because I haven't had until recently. So anyway, that is it, you guys. Again, thank you all so much for watching. I'll be back next week with 34 weeks, 33 weeks update, and then we'll be, again, home stretch. So again, thank you all so much for watching. I will talk to you later. Bye.